Hey everybody, welcome. Thanks for joining us for the first ever episode of Topeka On Point. I'm Susie Gilbert bringing you the lowdown on T-Town. Nearly 400 people showed up to recognize the 19 newly sworn in Topeka police officers who graduated from the 48th Topeka Police Recruit Academy. Let's take a look. Guests, distinguished guests, staff, I present to you the sworn officers of Class 48. This is pretty dangerous. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But the fact is that this class stood right up to that, did what needed to be done, participated, and I can tell you, each of you, that there are law enforcement officers in this country who have never experienced what you've experienced before you got out of the academy. The point is, we're going to do our part. We need you to do your part. And for you to do your part to support these officers as they embark on this very respectable public service career. Congratulations to all of you. You've earned it. You're about a third of the way through. Let's get this done. On behalf of the 48th Police Recruit Class, we accept this charge. We're determined to exceed your expectations. With that said, we're truly grateful for this opportunity and honored to be a part of Topeka Police Department as we serve and protect this community. Thank you. Congratulations, guys, and welcome to the team. Now we take you to our next story. It's about Valentine's Day, a day that could not have been sweeter for one Topeka couple and their three kids. Sarah, congratulations. Oh, that's awesome. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. The family spent V-Day getting the keys to their new home, and it wouldn't have happened without the city's Department of Housing and Neighborhood Development. If this was funded through the Home Investment Partnerships Program, which is one of the federal resources that Housing and Neighborhood Development gets each year from the feds. We use the home funds for a number of different resources from our TOTO program, which helps first-time home buyers. We have a major rehab program to help owner-occupied properties. And then we also have our infill housing program, which is what this one falls under. One of the big pieces to infill housing is putting in new homes where we have none, where homes have been demolished. By putting these homes in, it helps to improve the overall health of the neighborhood. It improves the property values in the area, provides safe, affordable housing for our home buyers. Get people in that actually care about it, take care of the city. You know, it'll look nicer, be nicer, better place, more attractive for people that don't live in Kansas to want to come here. Interim H&D Director Brad Reef handed over the keys to the lucky new Ward Mead neighborhood residents who say their kids have already claimed their rooms. <laughs> I can't wait to go open the door yeah. now and just yeah. walk in. That's, that's really great. That's going to yeah. be awesome. So. And then see the lifetime. kids, you know, <laughs> see the kids smile and just run in. That's yeah. what I'm waiting for. That will be great. So, yeah. excited. Seeing the looks on the faces of those people that are buying those homes, of getting their first home. There, there's a large reward in that and seeing them with that excitement. Well, it's very exciting, um, yeah. especially, you know, Valentine's Day, you can't get a better gift than that, you know, brand new house. <laughs> and then the city of Topeka, you know, with this program, we wouldn't have been able to buy a house without it. So yeah. very excited and thankful for everything. Stay on point because when we come back, we'll head over to the zoo to see what new furry creature they have over there. But before that, we'll leave you with a nugget from Nels. Between 1854 and 1866, 34 steamboats paddled up the Kaw River. One made it as far as Fort Riley. Every 20 minutes, a person is injured in a fire. Every two hours, someone dies in a fire. 
children and the elderly are at twice the risk of perishing. Perishing or being injured. Being injured in a home fire. They are our first line of defense against the threat of fire. The threat of fire. Can you afford not to have smoke alarms in your home? Smoke is no joke. For more information on how you can have a free smoke alarm installed in your home, contact the Topeka Fire Department. Welcome back to Topeka On Point, and now it's time to check in with Kevin to see where he went today. Hi, I'm Kevin Dame. I'm here with Brenda Younger, the city clerk, and we are here to discuss the newly installed computer in the city clerk's office. So, Brenda, can you tell me exactly what this computer is here for? We um, installed this computer for citizen access to documents that are posted on the web, which could include ordinances, minutes, um, council packets, licensing information, and just general information about city government. What is the uh, main goal in having this installed? To provide good access to government records. We just want to be able to connect the citizens to our government. And uh, how long has this been available to the public? Approximately three weeks. And what's the process? You just got to come in and sit down or how does, how does it work? Any citizen can walk in and have a seat. And we have it logged on anytime from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. There's no process. We allow anybody to come in and view the documents. So overall, you feel this is positive for the city? Yes, I think it's a great move in the right direction to um, improve our transparency. And green is great. Who's your favorite city employee? Kevin? She's right! <laughs> well, thank you, Brenda, for your time. Appreciate it. And if you need to come down and get any information regarding city government, come into city clerk's office. They will help you out. They're very happy people. Very happy? Very. <laughs> Kevin Dame, KDZ, with that exciting report. In other news, it's your chance to meet one of the most endangered animals in the world. Five-year-old Carmella, a black-footed ferret, has a new home at the Topeka Zoo. Here she is. So we have brought uh, one of our uh, captive bred uh, ferrets from the National Blackfooted Ferret Conservation Center here to Topeka Zoo uh, to be housed as um, a public display animal, which is great. Um, her name is Carmela. She's six years old. She could not be released into the wild, um, so she has retirement here, and it's wonderful. She'll educate many children and adults on um, the Blackfooted Ferret Recovery Program. In the wild, uh, ferrets live one to three years. They're considered a short-lived species. But in captivity, they can live up to eight or nine years. And uh, so their uh, breeding time is up in, for females, it's around three years old. Uh, for males, it's about four years old. And so um, then what, where do they go after that? So um, we uh, keep them at the center, but we love to put them in display units. So, you know, it's one of the most endangered mammals in North America. Uh, not too many people even know that they are one of our native species. And these native species are our ma mammals in our backyard. And as Americans, we have a responsibility to uh, care for them, take care of them. And, and uh, so these education outreach programs are huge, huge. I have a real passion for this uh, mammal. You know, they're solitary, they're nocturnal. So it's a species that we know very little about. Um, in order to find them in the wild, you have to go basically to these isolated prairie dog colonies. You have to seek them out at night. Even then, being solitary, you know, they can be hard to find. So I think it's the kind of elusiveness and, and the fact that they're able to survive in a very harsh environment. Um, and, you know, they're just very charismatic. You know, it's a, it's a uh, very big animal in a small package. And you have a wonderful ferret here at Topeka Zoo, Carmela. Uh, she will bring a lot of joy and entertainment and uh, hopefully a, a very strong conservation message for you. You can meet Carmela from 10 to 4 each day at the Topeka Zoo. Thanks for tuning in to the first ever episode of Topeka On Point. As we leave you, here's an important safety tip from Firepup. Hi, I'm Firepup, reminding everyone that a properly installed and maintained smoke alarm is your first line of defense against the fire.
That's our time. Thanks for sharing yours. Top city, top, top, top city. Top city, top, top, top city. So this is a uh, great... Because <laughs> it's green. It's on city four. Uh. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Okay, I'm a really good dancer. Did you know? Green is great. Any records from the record machine?